Hi guys So I have this original lollipop And before I start Mmm, this is yummy It's cherry flavored Before I start, I want to dedicate this video for Michael aka Michael Soothing ASMR My husband guys I want to dedicate it to him because he loves my soft-spoken voice and also because I want to thank him Thank you, babe for teaching me how to drive and we had our driving lessons for four months and even though I passed it already he's still giving me lessons so I drive uh, about once a week with him so thank you so much babe for being so patient and thoughtful and persistent like some days I didn't want to continue and he wasn't you know okay we've had some fight I've already told you guys but really when we would calm down he would continue so thank you so much babe for being so brave and you know patient with me so I will read to all of you and my babe a fairy tale story the three wishes One cold winter's night many years ago An old man Pedro sat by the fire talking with his wife Maria Now Pedro had worked hard all his life but had never made much money Still, he had much to be thankful for. He had a good little piece of ground to farm, a comfortable cottage, and a donkey to carry his burdens. But tonight, instead of giving thanks to God for the many good things, they enjoyed he and his wife spent the time wishing they had some of the things that belonged to their neighbors this little hut is only fit to house a donkey in said Pedro and this land is the poorest around here I wish we had the house and farm of our neighbor Carlos Carlos house and farm are better than ours to be sure answered Maria but what I'd like to have is the fine mansion of that of Don Francisco And I, continued her husband, 
instead of our old donkey, which can scarcely carry an empty sack, would like to have Carlos mule. Well, well, if I had my wish, exclaimed Maria, I'd have the fine white horse with silver studded harness that draws the carriage of Donna Clara. Some people have only to wish for a thing in order to get it. How I should like to see my wishes come true. Scarcely had she finished speaking when they saw a most beautiful little woman standing in front of the fire. She was not more than 18 inches tall, but on her head was a crown like a queen's. She wore a filmy dress and veil that seemed made of white smoke. Sparks from the fire leaped about her like fireworks and shone on her dress like glittering spangles. In her hand she carried a little golden wand, at the end of which a single bright spark gleamed like a ruby. I am the fairy Fortunata, she said. I was passing by and heard your complaints and I have come to help you. I shall give you three wishes, one to you, Maria, one to you, Pedro, and the third must be something that you both want. This third wish I will grant you tomorrow when I return at this time. So saying, the beautiful fairy sprang through the flames and disappeared in a cloud of smoke. The old couple were delighted. How wonderful to have three wishes to come true. They talked over all their wishes, but they had so many they didn't know which to select. They decided to wait until the next day. In the meantime, they began to talk about entirely different things and, as usual, spoke of their wealthy neighbors. I was at Carla's house this morning said Pedro, and, there were, and they were making black puddings. Oh, such black puddings! It would have done you good to see them. I wish I had one of those puddings right now, said his wife, to roast on the ashes for supper. Just as she uttered these words, there appeared on the ashes the most delicious looking black pudding that could be imagined. Maria's eyes almost popped out of her head, but Pedro jumped up in rage. You greedy woman, he cried to use up one of our precious wishes on nothing but pudding. I wish the black pudding were stuck on your nose. 
No sooner had he spoken than the black pudding was actually hanging from the end of her nose. She tried to get it off, but it was stuck fast. See what you have done? she cried. If I used my wish badly, at least it hurt no one but myself. But you, just look what you have done to me. Just then the dog and cat, having sniffed the pudding, jumped up and tried to get a bite of what was now a part of her nose. There is only one thing we can do now. We must use the third wish to get this pudding off my nose. Why, for heaven's sake, what of the new form? cried Pedro. It does not matter, said Maria. But Maria, think of the fine house you wanted. I don't care about that now. My dear, let us wish for a fortune. Then you can have a golden case set with jewels to cover the pudding. I will not hear of it. Then you would have us left just as we were before? That's, that is all I wish for. Nothing the old man could say would change his wife's mind. So at last they agreed to use their third wish to remove the pudding. The next night, when the fairy appeared and asked what was their last wish, they said, We only wish to be as we were before. The fairy smiled and vanished. The pudding tumbled off the wife's nose. And from that time, the old couple lived content with what they had. The end, guys. I will show you the picture. As you can see, they they're content and happy. So, I was talking with Michael yesterday about this fairy story and I have read it before a long time ago and I too remember they wished for something that they didn't really wish just because they were being greedy story that they were wasting the three wishes. Of course the moral, what do you call it? I forget. This mental brain guys sometimes give me a brain fog brain fog so I can't think clearly the moral what? I don't 
remember more on something is to not be greedy <laughs> be content with what you have and I mean they could have wished like if they were content then they would wish for fortune for others and maybe indirectly they would also have fortune or you know something when I read something and that is why I would do reading stories videos I have a little bit of a heartburn and digestion um, since I don't have a gallbladder if I eat too much fatty foods then the next day I can hardly eat anything so when I make my videos today it would mostly be candies and perhaps light foods I have like a Filipino food for you guys and a Japanese food for you okay guys I do hope you like this video I hope you liked it babe if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel Scorpio NYT please go to my husband's ASMR channel also Michael Soothing ASMR and my daughter's two channels Ariaville and Art and Beauty Freak Thank you so much for watching. I love you.